However, amongst my channel today, I'm doing reading for Sign of Aquarius. Keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that is going to be the first link in the description down below. Let me repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Uh, you can also find a bunch of other things in the description down below. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards. My holographic stickers, as well as the mini holographic version of my oracle card. Or, yeah. I don't know why I'm going to confuse. We have my pins, which are acrylic pins. We have a white raven pin. Green Man Pin, Serapis Bay Pin. All that's in the description down below. My Etsy shop. You can also find my shirt store at my website. Different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Aquarius, let's see what Spirit has in store for yourself. Okay. Number nine with the wild hunt, excitement, frenzy, journey. Number eleven, Ragnarok, destruction, ending, final moment. Number two with Dura, healer, nourishment, nurture. Number thirteen, the elf queen, introverted, burden, responsibility. Number 22, which is important number, Oath, Promise, Pledge, Contract. Number 37, The Mabon, Shining, Hope, Future. Number 18, Elfstruck, Enchanted, Beguiled, and Spelled. Number 24, The Solitary, Dedication, Self-Love, Focus. Look at this, you're dedicating more of your time to yourself here. Okay. Now, Aquarius, I feel like there's going to be more excitement in your life here. More hope, more... Um, why does that keep getting brighter and then not brighter? I don't know what it's doing. But either way, more life is what I feel like. More peace, more happiness. Okay, but I do feel like there's some sort of promise you're making as well. And I do see you being a healer there. Enchanted. Okay. Aquarius, what I also see, I feel like in some way, shape or form, you are projecting, pro projecting that of magic to bring in good things into your life, to bring in this abundance here, okay? But I also feel like there is an ending of maybe people who have tried to put spells on you. Like, there's an ending to spells being casted on you, okay? With Ragnarok being there, I'll struck. Number 30 was She Who Laughs, Humor, Perspective, Mirth. Number 43, The Golden Unicorn, Protector, Guardian, Champion. Number 27 with Salud, Vitality, Health, Energy. Number 5 with The Hedge Witch, Herb, Wisdom, Secrets, Hidden, the, hidden Lore. Number 29, Before the Gathering, Celebration, Anticipation, Event. Number 38, The Sigil Keeper, Simple Signs, Messages. Number 7, The Green Witch, Fresh New Spring. Number 36, The Yule Singer, Rebirth, Feasting, Joy. Look at this, so there's like some, some sort of feast, some sort of gathering here. Okay, now. With some sort of witches, but these are not bad witches here. You're not having dark witches here. You're having the green witch, the hedge witch. The hedge witch is like that of like natural herbs. Okay, using that. Now, before there's this gathering here, 
There's a big theme here on paying attention to signs, symbols, and messages. Okay? You're also being protected here, Aquarius. I see a big, um, your health. Your health's going to be improving here. We have some cards wanting to come out, so we'll take them. We have number 16 with soul kin, recognition, family, kinship. Number one with the cunning woman, silent, observant, wily. Okay, so we have some soul kin, some soul family here. Okay, can be this cunning woman right here. Here, describe that. Also going back to she who laughs. Those two. Number 38, the fairy norm, planning, patience, cooperation. Number 45, the ancient elder experience, lessons. Number 8, with the elven touch, recovery, comeback, revival. Number 3, with the sorceress, rituals, power, will. Number 41, with Awen, gift, divine inspiration, awakening. Number 33, which is important, number with Volva. Prophecy, guidance, direction. Look, this has all been like sort of prophesized here, Aquarius, but I do see you cooperating here with that of like. Witches, but they're not bad witches here. Okay, there's a gift, there's an offering here, there's an awakening. A big awakening for yourself here. A revival. And a comeback. Rituals. These are all part of your soul family here, Aquarius. The soul kin being there. That is what I feel for you. Like, there's going to be some sort of gathering where you're doing something very big, very important. Okay? But this was, like, supposed to happen. Aquarius, I feel like you're retrieving something. Something's going to be quite important to you. Okay, so let's get some runes and some charms for yourself. We have Hathor. Raw. We have the flower. Flower is important. The flower is important because it's for the heart chakra. It opens up the heart chakra, so it's important to keep that with you. Can also be, look at this gift. Giving that gift to the divine there. Now, even though it appears like nothing's going on on the outside to other people, there's actually a lot going on in the inside, Aquarius. I feel like you're going to be awakening a lot of spiritual strength inside yourself as well. Like, I already feel like you are spiritually strong, but there's going to be a lot more that is going to be coming back around to you, Aquarius. Not that of, like, physical things. I'm talking about spiritual gifts, okay? Your spiritual strength being gifted back to you, okay? You're gifted with more. Your stance, you're increasing more and more and more. So, that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below. For a personal reading. Also go on my Etsy shop, go on there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye guys.